is Raina Nock, and I'm with Bryn Binger. Thank you for joining us today for our podcast. Thank you. For, um, for the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about movie reviews. Today, the movie we're talking about is The Greatest Showman. Thanks, Rihanna. Like she said, we're going to be talking about The Greatest Showman today. If you're wondering like what it's rated or how long it is, I'll give that information to you. It is rated PG, made in 2017. It's an hour and 45 minutes. It's a musical and a thriller, and you can find it on Hulu and Disney+. Plus. Um, the movie's about a man who had, he has a wife and two daughters. Um, he loses his job, so he starts a circus. And instead of just animals in his show, he hires a bunch of people that were considered weird and were made fun of. And so he had, it's about all the challenges he faces, both with people, other people, and himself in the spotlight. So, Rihanna, what's your favorite part? Um, I personally really like when he meets, or when we get to meet all of the different characters. Like, I like, I really like when we get to meet all the different characters in the circus. My favorite part is probably when, when they sing. Because I, I like it when they sing or when they're part of the circus. Because I like to, like, when they're part of the circus, I like to watch it, them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, it feels alive, I guess. Yeah. It feels real, like he did it, you know? Mm-hmm. What's your least favorite part, Bryn? My least favorite part is at the beginning when... The, uh, the main character, P.T. Barnum, is slapped when he was a kid by another man, and his dad does nothing about it. So, yeah. Um, I don't like that part. <laughs> my least favorite part is when he, Jenny, Jenny Lind kisses him. Does he go in, or she goes in? She does. <laughs> okay. For, like, papers or something like that? Like... Um. It's, I think it's because she liked him, but he didn't like her. Well, or, obviously, well, he has his own wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so she was mad at him. He was mad at him. She was mad at him that he wouldn't give up his wife for her. And so she did that to public, public, publicly and, ashamed him. And doesn't the wife, doesn't he, his wife see it in the papers and leaves him? Yep. That's fun. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. In this movie review, where it's a lot of spoiler alerts, so turn it off now <laughs> if you don't want spoiler alerts. Yeah. What's your favorite character? My favorite character, um, I like um, Ann Wheeler, the trapeze artist. That's and my favorite. <laughs> And Charity. Uh, P.T. Barnum's wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like Anne, too. I think it's cool how she flips through the air and stuff. And, mm-hmm. I mean, it's good for all... The, it's good for all those people that they're in a circus, like, facing... Yeah. Proving people wrong and stuff like yeah. that. But, anyway, what's your favorite song, Rihanna? Um, my favorite song could be... The first song, The Greatest Show... Come Alive, or Tightrope, I think. Yeah. What's your least favorite? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have a least favorite song of any of these. I really like all the music. Yeah. Um, my favorite. I have three least favorites and three favorites. But my three favorite is Come Alive, that's when they're first starting their circus. And uh, the other side, that's when um, the main character's trying to hire a partner, and they're in the bar, kind of, yeah. (laughs) Anyway, and then from now on, at the end, when he realizes that um, he's kind of been selfish Mm -hmm. in some ways, but 
my least favorite i mean i don't really they're not i like them but they're not my favorite favorite the my least favorite is a million dreams sorry that's a lot of people's favorites but i don't really like that one i still sing to it though all the time but never enough which is when jenny lynn the girl who kissed the main character sings that's what she sings. I mean, she's really good at singing it, but... And she is kind of pretty, but she's really selfish. <laughs> yeah. And then, um... Probably Tightrope or This Is Me. Probably This Is Me. <laughs> I still sing to them all, but... Those two, those three are my least favorite. <laughs> so, some characters in the movie are... P.T. Barnum. He's the main character. Like, we've been talking about him a lot. He's the one who hires the so-called freaks and stuff. And then... And, um... Yeah, Brianna, you got it. Um, <laughs> another... We talked about her, Ann Wheeler. She's a trapeze artist. Um, and there's also Philip Carl. He's a business partner with P.T. Barnum. And he ends up having a crush on Ann Wheeler, the trapeze artist, but <laughs> yeah. but Ann doesn't think that it's going to work. Oh yeah, that was also my favorite part when, spoiler alert, I had a big one, um, how when those people who don't like the so-called freaks, they don't like them, so they, when P.T. Burnham's away, mm -hmm. like Philip Carr, his, it's oh, Carr. Carl? It, it's Carlisle, I oh, think. Oh, whoops. Sorry. But, <laughs> um, the, it's where he takes over as the head of the circus, I guess. And then people come in and fight with them. And then this guy has a lantern and throws it at the wall. And it lights on fire in the hay. Yeah. And then, um, and then, um, um, There's then that's when the building burns down. And was in there but philip didn't know so he went in to go save her but she came out and then pt barnum comes in and saves him and then he's in the hospital so i don't know why that's my favorite part that's probably when all the drama and the climax starts happening actually happening but yeah <laughs> another character is letty lutz she's uh she's a beautiful singer she's a really good singer but she has a beard Oh, and so yeah. she looks kind of weird, but she's a girl, by the way. Mm -hmm. She is a girl. Yeah, you can probably tell that by the name. But <laughs> and then we're not going to introduce all the characters that because that's a lot of characters. A lot of them. Yeah. But um, I think overall the movie has a really good theme, and there's a lot of good action in it. And yeah. the songs are abs are awesome. Yeah. They tell a really good story. Mm hmm I, yeah. Even though, the so I like all the songs, but they're not, some of them are not my favorite, as you know. <laughs> they're all good, but those are my least favorite. Yeah. So overall, the movie has a really good theme. And it's, a really good movie to watch. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... I forgot what I was going to talk about. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, like Raina said, it has a good theme. It's really good. I suggest that you watch it. Like I said, you can find it on Hulu or Disney+. Plus. I don't think it's on Peacock or anything like that, but it's probably on cable sometimes. It's a pretty popular show. And, yeah, <laughs> we don't really have anything else to talk about. So, so thanks for joining us. Um, see you next week. Bye. Bye.